Are you feeling better? Today stays at the starts off with a little bit of madness as per usual. I'm trying to get out in eight minutes. My amazing mother-in-law just showed up. Hi Pam. Hi Pam. Thank God for you. She came for a visit. Mm. Daddy. She oh, asked look for at Dolly this. to come for a visit. I know, if I know. I should forget it. She could spend Mommy. a week. Oh really? <laughs> Off to work. I can't seem to leave the house before 7.40 and today I need to get gas. So we need to go do that. Rebecca is still still sick. She slept through the night, which is good, but the only thing is that cough is not getting better and the snot is still very, very green. So um, I hope, I hope that this weekend she gets better. Poor thing. It worked. I figured it out with street signs and if you're here on time, then you can get a spot. So between seven to eight. But the only thing is you should really get here closer to eight. I got here at eight oh five and I got one of the last last spots. So After school I go. Okay, I love being in the house. Hi. of clothing in the high school is so nice. I'm so happy to be in high school and not be in high school. I'm sure all of you commiserate. And here we are, walking like the Tate Rope of Insanity. And I have a new dolly. I have a new dolly. Nana brought Abby a different doll today. Its name is Pink Baby. Got a bunch of little sneaky maggots trying to get into the garage care of them this morning. Why are they called maggots, Daddy? Because that's their name, Abby. Maggots. And the stupid little pothead punks destroyed another light again last night. I don't care if you smoke the marijuana. It's fine with me. You do it outside and you're stupid about it. I don't like it. And you get high and you start destroying stuff. If I caught you, I'd drag you by your little tiny stupid ears to your parents' house and have them gough up the 500 bucks it's going to take to fix that light. Little cockroaches. Well, that's a juxtaposition of images you never expect to see. My friends Leanne and Mickey had a meat crisis the other night, and they came and borrowed our meat thermometer, and I haven't put it away yet. I hate meat crises. Crises? Bye, I don't know if you can hear what I hear, but it's really cool. Of course, now it. But the only thing is, some of the language could be a little bit foul. Some of the expressions, some of the things that they do, I'm like, I so don't look forward to having a game like this. Shoot me the kids are finishing school, so they're off, and I'm going to finish in a few minutes. Is Nana leaving? Thank you, Nana, for looking after Rebecca for the last two days. Hopefully she's better now. She seems to be a lot better right now. Three days, I think. Three whole days Nana looked after you. Are you feeling better, Rebecca? Where's mommy? Those are your shoes. Yes, they are. Would you like to put on your shoes? And go outside for a little bit? Guess who's home? Not maggots. Abby, yes, I see one. one. Where's one? There. Oh yeah, you're right. You want to squish it? Mommy, look at one of the nuggets. <laughs> maggots. <laughs> squish it. You have to roll it under your foot. That's disgusting. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's 
Smear it better than that. I think we're gonna call them nuggets from now on. I like nuggets better than maggots. I've noticed fruit flies at my desk. And I hadn't figured it out. And then I realized garbage hasn't been changed in a while. And there's some takeout containers and some fruit. Stuff like that. Which is bad. Are you being silly? Car. Stay on that side, Abby. Stay. You're a monster. So it's six o'clock on a Friday. I think I'm calling it. That's it. I'm done. Time to go reheat dinner because we're having leftovers from Monday night because we have so many of them. Have a nice dinner. And maybe watch a movie. I want to watch Prometheus. There's no way in hell I was going to watch Prometheus, but... Our girls seem to love rocks. I love rocks. <laughs> Someone is in a much better mood. And Rebecca's in a better mood, too. Oh, very funny. Anybody's in a better mood, it's you. You're not raging anymore. So I think this is a question more for the men than the women. Maybe not. No, you've done it too. The question of swearing at your kids. And that shiny moment when you swear at your kids. I think it, you know, properly punctuates the mood. I don't know. Because we don't want them using that language. So. I never really cared about such things. I think like there's something to be said for a proper way of speaking. Rebecca, it's very crass to use swear words. Did you enjoy your leftover dinner? I very much enjoyed my leftover dinner. What's funny is we can't actually see Rebecca. We can hear her. We can see miscellaneous toys moving. But we can't actually see her. We can't actually see her. Oh. The beast from within the toys emerges. Downward dog. Yeah, you can't stand up like that, though. No, you can't. Yeah, you do still have to go to bed soon. Even though you cried on the way. Are you looking at your mummy? <laughs> Go show your dad what you're doing. It's the simplest things, really. Can you walk to daddy? Can you walk? Go, go walk to daddy. Go, go, go say hi, dad. Go walk to daddy. Really everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I want to do it again and again.